Christopher, or should I call you Blade Man? Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. Yes, yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. Yes, it's a little bit shorter now. But let me show you how I cut transition lenses with a purple number two gradient tint for your brand new Ray Ban 5121 color 2000, which is the shiny classic black in size 50. So let's open this bad boy up, take it out of the, uh, the Ray Ban leather case. Your black Ray-Ban cloth, which was upside down, sent from Ray-Ban that way. I'll turn it right side up when I ship to you. And now this is your frame. And of course, Ray-Ban puts a little plastic sleeve on the left temple when they ship to me. If they think it's such a good idea to send one, well, by golly, I'm going to put one on the right side when I ship to you. These are the original demo lenses that say Ray-Ban on the left side. I am going to pop those out and put your frame, they are your classic black Wayfarer frame into my Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger. It's going to trace the shape of the left lens. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have allergies this year. And then it's going to scoot over and trace the shape of the right lens here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. But you will be disappointed with my voice. And Blade Man, you should remember this from all the videos. By the way, I am honored. This officially makes video number 100. This is your eighth pair of glasses you have gotten for me. The other 92 people, they mean nothing to me. It's all eight that you've gotten for me, what's important. But it's a big milestone. 100 videos. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the shape of your frame. Put in your pupillary distance. And... Put the setting for your lens, and this is for a plastic, oops, I passed it, plastic frame that I will cut on the soft cycle this time just to cut slower. How's this for a purple tint? Pretty cool, huh? Can you see that? Can you see that? And as fate would have it, I'm so glad I went ahead and had these tinted in advance because today when I came in and I turned on my tent tank, it blew up, caught fire, flames were shooting out of it. I had to unplug it. I've got a new one on the way. It won't be here for three days. So I'm glad I had your lenses pre-tinted. It's a good thing I knew I was going to be lazy. Usually I do the tinting for you. So, as you know, this block needs to be put on the lens for when it's cutting in the lathe. So I'm going to pop that in there. And line everything up just perfectly. Get the height of your bifocal just right. And put the block down. <clears throat> Excuse me for my nagging little cough. I'll explain that in a little bit. All right, let's block up the left lens. That is the left. Yes, left. And and here we go. Put it in the edger and hit start. Now, just like with all the other times, the tracing element is going to come down and trace the shape of your right lens. It's going to trace the concave side of the lens first, which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it's going to scoot over and trace the convex side of the lens, which sits away from the face. All the while, while the calipers measure the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to put the bevel into the frame. Yeah, a few weeks ago, you heard my terrible voice and my sniffling and... I work next door to a pharmacy, and I went in and I told them, I have got a cold that just won't go away. And this is my first cold I've ever gotten in years. So that's why I was a little bit surprised when the cold would not go away. So I was telling the pharmacist that, and they said that uh, I have allergies. And I said, no, I've got this cold. You're not listening. I've got this cold that just won't go away. And they repeated themselves and said, you have allergies. I said, you're not listening to a thing I said. I've got this cold that won't go away. I don't have allergies. I've never had allergies. I've got a cold that won't go away this spring. And they said, well, you've got allergies now. And just to appease them, I took some allergy medicine. And after a couple days, sure enough, everything cleared up. Zoinks, foiled again. So after everything cleared up, I quit taking the allergy medicine. And what do you know? My allergies are back. That's how it works, huh? You quit taking the medicine and you get sick again. So now I'm under sad realization that I may have to take a pill every day for the rest of my life. Although, my wife, sorry honey, for several things. One, being married to me. And two, that she does have to take a pill every day. And she grew up on a tobacco farm here in North Carolina. 
She left her job and went to work in IT at Blue Cross and has never gone back to the farm. But, so she tells me, just take it when I need it. So, but if it works, how do I know when I don't need it anymore because all the symptoms are gone? What do you know? What can you do? Either jump in a hole or take a pill. I like the idea of taking a pill. I'm going to live forever. So your lens is done cutting and now it's putting the bevel onto the lens. <clears throat> we think we know our body so well, at least I think I know my body so well. <clears throat> Had no idea there was allergies. No idea. First I was telling them about the congestion I get and they said you have a post nasal drip and I don't know what that is. And I said, well, when do I have it? And they said, while I'm asleep. And I was like, oh, you guys are good. You are a quack. But sure enough, I took the medicine and everything went away. Man, I hate when I'm wrong. Which is about 95% of the time when I'm not cutting lenses. So I think I'll just stick to cutting lenses and being right all the time. But... If I'm cutting lenses, when I'm not cutting lenses and I'm wrong 95% of the time, that means 5% of the time I'm right 100%. <laughs> Sorry, do the math. Here, let me fix that. 95% uh, of the time divided by the square root and then 5% of the time I'm right all the time equals, see, I was right. This must be one of those 95% of the times. Okay. Back to the handstone where I'm going to put the safety bevel on there. I'm going to dry your lens off and actually I want to clean clean your lens before I put it in the frame. So I'll be shocked if this fits. Usually I have to go a little bit smaller. That's pretty cool. The purple over that. This is my first time cutting a purple lens in a while so I'm enjoying myself. The clown gets to laugh. But no, it doesn't pop in there yet so I'm going to take it down just a tenth of a millimeter and hit retouch. Now it's not going back to the cutting wheel, it's just going to go back to the handstone, well, give me, the, the bevel wheel, which is essentially just like my handstone over here. It's going to take one tenth of a millimeter off your lens going all the way around. And once everything is done, I'm going to show you how they darken. So Blade Man, with your eighth pair of glasses you've gotten from me, <clears throat> You are the coolest dude in Norfolk, Virginia. I just got to tell you that. One of these days, if I ever take a day off on the weekend, my wife wants me to cut back to 80 hours a week. She says this 100 hours a week is making me cranky. So I'm going to kick it up a notch and go to 110 hours a week. I'm just going to use the bathroom two less times a day and take shorter showers. That's my plan. I'll figure out a way to work 110 hours a week. But, if I ever take a day off on the, on the weekend, I might have to take a day trip up to Norfolk just to, just to meet you and to thank you for the eight pair of glasses that you've gotten from me within two months' time. I really, really appreciate it. You could have purchased them from anyone, but instead you purchased from them from the guy who gives you free clear lenses. You just pay the upgrade to the bifocal and you pay the upgrade to the, to the transition. So, back to the handstone, back to the safety bevel, back to scraping everything off the lens instead of letting it fall on the counter. I'm just going to do it right on the floor this time. And so I'm going to pop your lenses into the frame that they will fit. I tuck them in at the outside corner closest to me. Using my thumbs, I press down at the center. Ooh, not yet, not yet. Another tenth of a millimeter is going to come off and hit retouch. The golden rule, you can always cut more off of a lens, you can never add it back on. So I start a little bit large and then work my way down. Now your lenses will have UV protection, UVA and UVB. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin by overexposure. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So this is permanent sunscreen for your eyes. There is nothing to protect you from UVC. C kills. Well, there is one thing to protect you. It's called the ozone layer. So that's why it's important that we keep that. If those ultraviolet rays come down through that, we are toast.
And toast without good butter or jam either. Just dry, burnt toast. And who likes that? Although, who likes Melba toast? Years ago, I was traveling around Scandinavia, and everyone serves it at restaurants up there. I'm like, what is the deal? I've never seen anyone purchase Melba toast other than my grandmother many, many, many years ago. And my grandmother is not from Scandinavia. She was actually from Austria. Vienna, Austria. They pronounce it Wien. I don't know why there's no V. Well, there is a V in it. It's Vienna. Okay. Um, dry your lens off. Back to the handstone. Back to the safety bevel. Back to scraping away all that off the edge of your lens. Back to dropping that on the floor. Back to drying everything off. Now let's see if it fits. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, closest to me, using my thumbs pressed down at the nose. Now it snaps in good. So let me flip over and cut your left lens and hit start. Just like before, these calipers are going to come down and trace the concave side of your lens. It's going to scoot over and trace the convex side. I am currently working on a musical for cutting lenses. And I will be singing all along the way with my Peter Brady voice, where it sounds like my voice is crackling and going through puberty as I try and talk with allergies. <coughs> Cover my mouth when I cough, even though there's no one else in the room with me, but I'm not, and it's, don't worry, I'm not contagious. I believe I got this allergy from eating uncooked pork and then rubbing my eyes. Okay, so the right lens is done. Let me go ahead and take this block off. Put that there. I've got this little graph. I don't know if you can see it, but it lets me know that the lenses are lined up perfectly. Yes, yes it is. Of course, your prescription is plus a quarter with a 175 ad. Let me just check that power. Plus 25. Move to the bifocal, plus 175, which gives me plus two, plus a quarter, and plus 175. If you had one quarter, and then someone gave you seven more quarters, you would have two dollars. That's what we're getting, two, two, and anyone out there who remembers the John Cusack film from the 80s, I want my two dollars. All right, no more John Cusack references because then it's going to be six degrees of separation from John Cusack. And no one thinks that's funny. So we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. So, Blade Man, I would like a beach house and a mountain house, so I need you to continue to buy lenses from me. And when I get my new tin tank, I can do... Purple at the top, gray at the bottom, purple, blue, red, yellow. I can do one color in the top of this one, one color in the top of that, a different color in the bottom. I can do all that, whatever you want, whatever you need. I can make it happen. So let me draw your lens off. Actually, let me... Sometimes the little marking that says left that comes from the lab can actually, when it pops in, can be underneath that bevel, and I can't clean it out, so I've started cleaning it before it goes in. So back to the handstone. Let me put the safety bevel on there. Let me scrape everything away with my thumbnail. And let's pop your left lens in and see if it fits. Tuck it in at the outside corner closest to me. Then using my thumbs, press down. Perfect. We're good. Let me take this block off. Off that comes. Let's dry everything off. Let me use my graph to make sure the left and the right lens are perfect. And you know what? They are, because who cut your lenses? I did. Okay, so let me check the power in your left lens. It's going to read plus a quarter. Check the power in the bifocal. Another 175 correction for a total of plus two. Let me check your pupillary distance. We're good there. Now, one more thing I like to do before shipping. 99% of all optical shops do free adjustments, but I just want to make sure it's in standard alignment. That means... Look, there's a little bit of a wobble. Let me get that perfect. So now when I press my thumbs down, there is no wobble. Flip it over, press down, there is no wobble. 
make sure each temple overlaps perfectly and there's the same amount of tension on both temples on both hinges I'm gonna clean your lens off and then I'm gonna put it in my little strong ultraviolet light to get your lenses to turn dark for us you can see how your lenses are purple at the top and then clear at the bottom I am going to put your Wayfarer frame into my little transitions box and you will see the transition lenses will turn dark go from clear to dark in about 30 to 45 seconds it takes a little bit longer when you come back inside it takes 45 seconds to a minute to about a minute 15 you will also witness the transition lenses get dark on day one give them two weeks and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks providing they're exposed to the sun at the end of that two weeks they'll be at their permanent setting now they will work for years after that the only time they will not work perfectly is when you're in your car driving which is when everybody wants sunglasses if you don't have a convertible or a motorcycle your lenses will not darken your windshield absorbs all the sun's ultraviolet rays that cause your dashboard to crack in the sun that's why they put UV protection in your windshield to protect the investment of your car so they do work best in temperature sensitive environments meaning that when it's in the upper 90s to 100 they just don't get as dark as they do when it's lower than that so that is it your lenses are now a little bit purple at the top and dark all over they will continue to darken for the first couple weeks so don't you worry anyone out there who has any questions about what I can and can't do for my next 100 videos just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or just click the contact me button on the website Mr. Blade Man, I hope you appreciate watching your eighth pair of glasses being made. I really, 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 really thank you. This is a big milestone for me, being 100 videos. Again, contact me should you have any more questions. Anyone out there, Blade Man, when you want your ninth and tenth pair, you know where to find me at. I'm only an email away. Everyone else, I hope you enjoyed watching as I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.